On the outskirts of Kyiv, scenes synonymous with darkness are now blanketed in snow. The town of Irpin is struggling again. Each day we have electricity for only four hours, not always. Sometimes it's just two hours. For months of rolling blackouts, Katya Nadish has cooked with a tiny flame as Russia's President Vladimir Putin launched crippling attacks on the power grid. He probably is waiting till the moment Ukrainians lose their hope for a better life, and he's playing that game with us. He'll attack us until he has no rockets left. Across the country, millions now have no power, heat or running water in what Ukraine calls a genocide. The strain on the power grid is worsening and homes here could be evacuated again. There could be a full blackout and we are preparing for that. The country's president predicts new attacks this week. He says too many in Kyiv are without power and shelter and need more tents like these, where Ukrainians take refuge, do their homework, or just warm up with a tea. My house is completely destroyed in the fire. We know our country will win and everything will be all right. We're not planning to leave. As night falls across Kyiv now, many homes are being plunged into darkness. And with temperatures forecast to fall even further below freezing this week, there are long cold nights ahead and a long winter as Russia aims to test the now famous resolve of the Ukrainian people. Sean Rubenstein Dunlop, ABC News Kyiv.